Hello and welcome everyone. Welcome to Cloudlander Pro channel. In this video, I'm going to talk about Microsoft exams guys. If you want to schedule a Microsoft certification exam, what is the process involved that I'm going to explain via this video. Like if you are looking to schedule Azure cloud certification exam or Microsoft 365 exam, you can follow the process that I'm going to explain in this video. I have also noted down some uh, codes here for Azure cloud certification exams and Microsoft 365 exams like AZ900, which is Azure fundamental exam, AZ104, which is Azure administrator exam code and MS900, which is Microsoft 365 fundamentals. So like this, we will have different different uh, certification codes in Azure and Microsoft 365. So let's understand the process in detail. Before going to a schedule an exam, I will just talk about some Azure certifications roadmap. Firstly, if you want to achieve any certificate in Azure, so you can go with Azure Fundamentals, which is AZ900. After clearing Azure Fundamentals, you can go and uh, apply or write for Azure Administrator Certificate which is AZ104. So when you clear this certificate, you'll have two options guys. Either you can go and write Azure Solution Architect Certificate or you can go and write Azure DevOps Engineer Certificate. So based on your domain expertise or based on your interest, you can choose the path and you can write your Azure certifications here. If your uh, path is different, if your domain is different, you have another option that is Azure Security Engineer. So you can write Azure Security Engineer Certificate after Azure Fundamental Certificate. In case if you want to write uh, another certificate, even you can write Azure Network Engineer Certificate also after Azure Fundamentals. So this is a simple Azure certification roadmap. Uh, even we have lot more certificates, but uh, I want to make it more simple and more easy. So that's why I have picked only certain certification details and I'm presenting it for you. In this video, I'm taking example of AZ104, which is Microsoft Azure Administrator certification. I'll try to uh, enroll for this AZ104 exam and explain you in detail what is the process that is involved to schedule a Azure exam. Uh, if you would like to apply for any Microsoft Azure certification or Microsoft 365 certifications, you can follow the same process that I'm going to explain in this video. So let's go to Azure certification page and schedule for this AZ104 exam. Now I'm in the browser guys. I'm going to click on Azure administrator AZ104. I'm going to click on this uh, learn.microsoft uh, website. Here you can see exam AZ104, Microsoft Azure Administrator Certification page. If you want to understand about this certification, you can go through this particular uh, website. And uh, in this web page itself, they have updated you the skills that are measured in this certification. If you want to understand uh, what sort of percentage each skills are measured, you can see the percentage details as well for each skill that has been presented here. So combinedly, it will be 100%. So if you want to know a uh, bit more details about these particular skills, you can go to the top. You can see Azure AZ104 study guide. You can click on this particular option, which will take you to the another URL. In this URL, you can see so many uh, details. If you come down a bit down, you can see this, uh, the skills that are being presented in the previous page. The same is available here. And if you scroll down a bit, you can see what are the sub details of those skills. So each skill that is being given with some percentage under that skills, you can see what are the aspects that are being covered. Okay. So for every skill that has been uh, included in AZ104 certification, for that particular skill, you can see what are the sub skills. So via this page, you will be able to understand in detail where you have to concentrate and what you have to learn to clear this certification. 
So if you go through all these particular concepts, you will be able to go and write this exam and clear it. So I'm going back to this page again, where I will have an option to schedule this exam. So if you want to schedule this exam, you have to pay some money. Here, the price for this particular certification is 165 USD. If you want to convert it into Indian currency, or if you want to convert into another, another country currency, you can just go and select the random, or you can go and select the particular country. Like if I, in my example, I'll go and select uh, India. So in Indian currency, it is costing around 4,800 INR which is exclusive of GST. Okay. Now I'm going to click on schedule exam, which is taking me to the certification exam enrollment process or registration process. Here you can see what are the details that have been provided by me during my profile creation in the Microsoft certification page. So your legal name, what is your job title? What is the address? What is your mobile number, pin code, all these details you'll have to update and this will be one time process and you don't need to again, again do it. If you want to change, you can go and click on edit profile and you can change it. So I'm, I'm okay with the details that are being uh, supplied before, before clicking on next option, you'll have to uh, uh, read this terms and privacy statements of Microsoft Azure certification. And then only you have to click on next. Here, it is going to give you an option to opt for any discount. Like say if your organization is giving you any kind of discount, we can go and opt that discount so that you will be able to write the exam for free. So I'm not going to opt this uh, uh, particular discount. I'm going to click on next. So I'm going to click on. Now you can see it is giving you an option. If you have a voucher code, if you are scheduling this exam at the end, you will be able to see an option to enter the voucher code. Since I'm not having any voucher code, I'm going to click on schedule with Pearson VUE. Now you can see it uh, redirected me to another page where it is giving me option to select the exam options. So the exam name is AZ104. Microsoft Azure Administrator, it is asking me, where do you want to take your exam? Either you can write the exam at a test center, you can write the exam at your home or office, or if you have any private access code, you can select it. Normally, I, I wrote my Azure certification exams either at a test center or at my home. Due to the corona situation, I'm writing all my exams in my home only. So I'm going to click on online at my home. And these are the uh, uh, options that you have to carry during your exam time. Like you need to have your personal computer that has a reliable webcam and internet connection. If you want to do some testing, you can click on system test, which will, which will download a small test package. And with that, it will capture the results of your webcam, of the voice, like your microphone voice, and it will also test your internet connection speed. So it will also ensure you, or you also have to ensure that, you also have to ensure that you are sitting in a place where you don't have any distractions. You should be in a private place to attend for this exam. And you should have a valid government ID proof, which you have to present it during or before your uh, exam starts. Once it is validated, then only they will let you to start your exam. Next one is what to expect. So you have to check in 30 minutes before your appointment time because you'll have to follow some procedure to attend your exam. Like you'll have to uh, make sure or you have to present your test place environment to Pearson VU team. They will examine very cleanly and then only they will launch the Azure exam for you. So once after uh, fulfilling all these things, then only you'll be able to write the Azure certification exams or Microsoft 365 certification exams. So I'm going to click on next. Since we are scheduling, I'm not doing any test of them. I'm going to click on next. Here comes to the next page, which is called as select exam. 
So here you can go and select English if you are okay with English language. In case if you are looking for any other language, you can also select the other languages. Since I'm comfortable with English language, I selected English and I'm clicking on next. In this page, we have to provide additional information. That means uh, you will have to uh, select this yes buttons here where you have to read and agree the Microsoft code of conduct, which is a non-disclosure. So you have to find the details here. If you click on uh, this particular option, you can see all those details. So I have already gone through it. So I'm going to click on yes button here in the previous uh, page. And do you agree Microsoft uh, certification exam candidate agreement by selecting yes below? Yes, I'm agreeing this. So I'm, I have selected these two options as yes and yes. So I'm going to click on next. After that, agree to online exam and Microsoft policies. So you'll have to agree to Microsoft policies and online exam policies so that it will take you to the uh, so that it will take you to the next steps. So I'm clicking on uh, agree button after selecting all these checkboxes. So these are the Microsoft policies. I'm going to the bottom of this page. I'm going to click on agree button. Then which language do you prefer the uh, proctor to speak? That means uh, during the time of exam, if you want any support or when they're scheduling the proctor from Pearson VUV will be contacting you. So what language do you prefer? You can select here. I'm selecting English. And then I'm clicking on next button. So it is asking me find an appointment, confirm your preferred time zone. So my preferred time zone is uh, Asia or Kolkata, which is IST time. I'm saying yes, that's right. After clicking on yes, that right option. After clicking on yes, that's right option. It is taking me to the next option that is select your date, which day you want to schedule your exam. So I'm going to say, uh, any one of the day which I'm comfortable or where I'm available to write this exam. I'm going to select this one of the date, which is a future date. So I'm selecting 27th January 2023 as the date to write this particular exam. After that, it is taking me to the third option. Select your appointment start time. So if I'm okay with this particular time, which is available here, I can click on book this appointment. After selecting the date, it is asking me to select the appointment start time. If you see here, uh, the appointment start time, it is saying 12.15 a.m. to 2.15 2 uh, a.m. IST time. If you are okay with this, you can click on book appointment. If you want to change or if you want to select a particular uh, start time, you can click on explore more times. You can see select your appointment start. So your appointment length is 120 minutes, which is a two hours of exam time. Your online testing check-in will be 30 minutes prior to your selected appointment start. So ensure that if you are selecting a time uh, as your appointment start time, make sure you will have to uh, be available 30 minutes prior so that you can pro you can complete the uh, check-in process uh, within time and you can start your exam also within time. So here I can see a couple of uh, uh, available slots. So whichever is comfortable time for me, I can select on it. So if I say after 9.50 uh, and before 1 p.m., if that time is uh, available for me, I can click on this and I can see what are the time slots that are available for uh, the available start time. If I say I'm okay to attend this exam at 11.15, I can click on 11.15. You can see, uh, your check-in time will be 10.45, which is 30 minutes prior to our appointment time. So if I'm okay with this, I can just go and click on this, book this appointment. Once you click on book this appointment, 
it will give you the complete details like what is the price of this exam and what is the exam details which language this exam will be what is the uh, length of this particular exam in in hours or minutes and then what is the details of your appointment like which day what is your check-in time what is your start time of your exam so all those details you can see if you scroll down to this page you can see uh, estimated cost uh, where you can see the subtotal cost as 4800 which is the azure az104 exam cost along with that you'll have to pay some tax which is 5664 so this amount you have to pay and then only you can schedule your exam. So I have already scheduled one exam. I'll show you uh, that exam, how it will be. I have already scheduled one exam. I'll take you to that page and I'll show you what is that exam that I have scheduled. So here you can see I have scheduled one Microsoft 365 fundamental exams. Uh, the the exam i have scheduled it for february 11 2023 and this is my confirmation code like this you will be able to see uh, your certification exams which are scheduled for the future dates on the day of exam i can come to this particular page and i can click on go to the exam which will launch the exam and i can write the exam on that particular day so if i want to write the exam before to that particular day i can come and click on reschedule and i can change the date in case if you want to uh, reschedule this particular exam, even you can uh, prepone or postpone this exam based on your requirement or based on your availability, guys. It is not that once you schedule an exam, you have to write on that day and that time only. So if you are not available on that day, for example, in that scenarios, you can either prepone it or postpone it. But to reschedule a Azure certification exam or Microsoft 365 certification exam, you need to reschedule it like a preponing or postponing of exam before 24 hours of your appointment time. So within 24 hours, it is not possible as per the Microsoft articles. You have to reschedule it like either preponing or postponing before 24 hours of your original appointment time. Yep, this is a quick video about uh, how to uh, schedule a Microsoft Azure or Microsoft 365 certification exams. Finally, thank you so much everyone for watching the videos that I'm uploading in my channel. If you would like to support my channel, please subscribe to my channel and share with your friends. Thank you so much.